Yeah. Hi, you guys. Hold on, I gotta fix my sign. I've had this contraption, this sign, lit up, light up sign for three years, you guys, and I've never used it, as well as this ring light. But today, I think I got the lighting right on this we'll see as the video progresses as you can see from the title and my little lit sign in the back this is my favorite and hated it video so i think i will do favorites first because i have a lot more favorites than i do hated it and stay tuned well you have to watch till the end because i do have a surprise giveaway and let's get started so um, I haven't done one of these in a long time. Obviously, I haven't been on YouTube consistently. Well, I have been on YouTube consistently for the last month and a half. But before that, I was not on YouTube consistently. And um, I used to love doing these favorites videos. If you guys have been watching for a really, really long time, you know that I used to do favorites all the time. And I used to have giveaways when I did my favorites. That's how I kind of like to do my giveaways. So, we're going to grab some things over here i'm going to tell you a little bit about why i like an item or dislike an item and then we're going to move forward i'm going to try to be as quick as possible so let's go hey guys so the first thing up i have here is this method dishwashing liquid so you guys method makes really good products that i really really love and i'm always looking for new stuff to try um i have my staples of things but i really like to discover new products and especially if they're good so method is a really good brand in general this here is made with plant-based uh grease cutting power now a lot of these companies claim to be plant-based and they do all of this and they don't live up to the hype but this particular brand right here this particular dishwashing liquid is fantastic and the lemongrass scent is amazing i absolutely love this if you guys see this anywhere i'm sure they sell it everywhere pick it up they have a lot of scents the bottle is so sexy and sleek doesn't it look like a a bust or something all right moving on this is a robe summer robe so i have my winter robes that are super heavy <clears throat> thick down to the floor and i have my summer robes that are lightweight and silky so this is one that i absolutely love it's a three-fourth sleeves and it comes past my knees and it does come with a little belt here i got this robe in one of my subscription boxes i think it was the pop pop sugar box or the brown sugar box i'm not exactly sure because if you've been watching for a while you know that i used to get a lot of subscription boxes and i got so much stuff that i don't know what what is from what but that robe i love it because in the summertime when you get out the shower you're running from room to room you just want to throw in a quick robe you want something lightweight but you don't want it to hold you down all right guys so i'm going to share with you some toothbrushes that i found these are not open these are mine but i bought at least six packs of these because i had to do a care package for someone and i they needed toothbrushes so i went to uh target and i found these smartly you guys are familiar with the brand smartly smartly is a new brand and target i'm not sure if it's anywhere else but they definitely carry it in target and these were so pretty and I kept a few for myself. And this is one of the packs that I kept for myself. They come in a variety of colors, like green, pink, white, blue. And I really like just how cute these are for just, you know, guests. Or if like, for example, my toothbrush, my electric toothbrush has died. And although I could still use it, sometimes I still use the manual toothbrushes. And I do keep manual toothbrushes, little toothbrushes in my office at work because I need to brush my teeth, okay? After you eat, I talk to a lot of people. I'm face to face with a lot of people. My old two bees, no, I don't play about my, my oral hygiene. We don't play them games. This is definitely a favorite. And this is dirt cheap, you guys. Dirt cheap. Go stock up on these and put these in your bathroom, under your sink, in your cabinets. Oh, they're amazing. Next up, you guys, and I have to remember to bring this back to my office. This is a hand sanitizer, but this is from plants. Plant deriving, non-drying. It's 99.9% .9 effective 
all hand sanitizers are not created equally as you guys have noticed i'm sure because i've watched a lot of you vlogs and i see in the stores they have hand sanitizer from all these different companies that you never heard of before or whatever you have to be very careful what's in that stuff a lot of it is not healthy for your body not healthy for your skin to be absorbing so i'm very conscious about the things that i put in and on my body this is from the brand raw sugar they make really good great products um in general so i saw this this is cold pressed technology um and this is the coconut and lemon verbena all right, ring light, you're doing a good job today. And I absolutely love it. It's It kills 99.9% .9 um, most common germs. You know, you just want to keep your hands as clean as possible. I usually keep this in my office on my desk, and people do come in and use it. So it's not gone, but it's, it's getting there. I have an extra one, and um, I just want to tell you guys, this is so, so good. And it, your hands has this really, really nice scent. And I don't know if there's another scent. I haven't seen the other scent but this is the coconut and lemon verbena and it smells so good and it works very good as well next up you guys as i told you i do not wear makeup every single day um putting on makeup is a task for me so i recently started using this since i've been going back to work and i've been in meeting after meeting after meeting i have actually had to pull myself together a little more <laughs> um this is the matte finish finny matte by nyx And this works so good at mattifying your face because I am naturally oily. I have oily skin, but that's a good thing because oils in your skin keeps you from aging. <laughs> you didn't know. But this is really good. I think this was only like $6.99, but it does work really good at keeping me um, from being super, super shiny. And I like that up is another uh skincare item and i posted this on my instagram and i love 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 good skincare i mean like ugh, obsessed with good good skincare right so this is adrian vitadini if you guys are familiar you know adrian vitadini used to be super popular back 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 in like the 90s for fashion and all that sort of thing not so popular now but still makes pretty good products so this is the chamomile lavender and vitamin c balance and brighten complexion facial mist this is actually made in italy this is what it looks like close up now what i use when i use this is actually before i apply any makeup or if i'm not applying any makeup i still can use this it's very good at brightening and balancing your complexion I have on absolutely no makeup right now um a little lip balm and that's it that is very good at evening your skin tone so depending on what my body is doing my skin can darken in certain areas can become a little red in certain areas um dry in certain areas so you know all that so this is great at keeping everything even and helping your complexion stay as moisturized and even as possible and it smells delicious it's it's great i've had this less than a month and i i put a pretty good a pretty good dent in it i think i would say i use that every day but it's very very good next up you guys is this little i don't even know what you want to call it little light bulb set um it is battery operated and i think the batteries are dead oh they're not dead oh check it out okay so all right this you guys i think i picked up at either marshall's or tj maxx or home goods one of those stores um months ago months 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 ago but what i've been doing is because although in my office i have a huge window the way that my desk is situated the light is like in the back of me so this is so great when i'm trying to do my makeup in the morning this just adds i can stick it to i have a mirror you can really stick it to anything where a suction would stick and it just lets me see everything so much better 
this was only like ten dollars you guys but it's so great it is so great i keep it in my office i only brought it home to show you guys so i could do this video it's grabbing stuff you guys so next up is another hand sanitizer if you watch my vlogs you will see me consistently spraying down my hands with some sort of disinfectant this this one is from trader joe's it is grapefruit and lemon with aloe and vitamin e it um, is the same sort of thing. This has a 74% alcohol concentration. That's what's basically killing the germs. That's what's killing the corona. 74% <laughs> is a super high amount of alcohol. And that's going to basically get your hands super clean or whatever the hell you spray. And I like it. This was dirt cheap. It might have been $1.99, $2.99, something like that. This one is basically gone but i really like it and i like the ones that have a little scent to them and this one is the grapefruit and lemon so it works really really good if you have trader joe's near you they had those by the counter i bought like six of them at a time um they're, they're in every car they're in a pocketbook like they're very good i have a bunch of these period like these little the nat the more natural i go towards the more natural sanitizers this right here is a buxom lipstick I don't know if you can see that right this has been i don't know why you know you just you get a favorite and you just keep reaching for it reaching for it and i'm really not that girl because i like to especially with lipsticks i like to change them up but i absolutely just been reaching for this like so often almost like every day this is called the hot toddy and it just adds a light pink that's what i have on now probably no, I have a lip balm on now. But it's so natural, but it adds, and it smells like cotton candy. It adds a nice shine, but it keeps your lips very pink, light pink, but natural pink. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm more of a natural girl, but I do love a red lip. I do love a red lip, child. But pinks and mauves, rosies is more what I tend to go towards. And I've been using that baby basically since I got back to work. Next up, you guys is what the hell is that crystal it's an empty box <laughs> it is an empty box but this is called the scrub daddy it's a flex texture scrubber and i'm sure you have seen these in your local stores your local walmarts your local wherever you shop i freaking love this thing so it's just a super hard thick sponge that can scrub just about anything and i love it because it's scratch free that was one of the reasons like you want to be careful with your things that you're cleaning you don't want to scratch them this is good for the dishwasher um you can put this in um glasses everything and then it also look at the picture on the back like i never even thought to clean your utensils like that so they have a soft side and a firm side it just depends on what you're what you're cleaning how you want to use it but this has been great. This is actually my second one, okay? I use them, I use them, and I use them. And then I have to bleach them. Super long already, you guys. I'm sorry. I just always have a lot to show you. And I know that I talk a lot, but I'm diligent, you know. Well, we're going to work through it. This is another one of my favorite, favorite, favorite skincare items. This is from the brand Thayer's. Thayer's. Now, this is a facial toner. Um with witch hazel and aloe vera i've been using this brand for years 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 um they have different scents now so this one is the rose petal which i like i do like but i prefer the lavender the lavender one is gone <laughs> so this is the rose petal but this brand is a favorite brand so if you ever see this now if you shop a lot like me then you'll know that a lot of places do sell the same things and they're different prices so in target this is about 10.99 but i went to burlington one day just you know browsing and they had it for 4.99 or 5.99 4.99 or 5.99 the exact same thing you know same brand sealed clean and i was just like this half the damn price but the thing with places like burlington and tj maxx or whatever it they it's a it might be there, it might not, not sort of thing. You know, Target always has these. They're always in the same spot. They're always going to be there. But, um, so it just depends. If you really, really need it and you really, really love it and you can't find it anywhere else, then I would say, you know, Target usually always has them. 
but check your like TJ Maxx, your Marshalls, the beauty section, Burlington, because they had this, they had, this one actually I think was from, no, there's no sticker on here. But I think this was from Burlington and it was like $5.99. And my other one, my lavender one was about $10.99. All right, you guys. Next is my oh, Narcisco perfume and oil. I was looking at how much I had left. Okay, you guys. So if you know me and you're a familiar to me, then you know your girl ain't bodies. And why? Why they're not bodies? Because the kid don't be spending but a certain amount of money on perfumes and things, right? Because I don't know, I just I don't I feel crazy spending like $70, $80 on perfume. But I am a blessed young woman, and people definitely bless me with things that I am not gonna buy for myself. And I'm so appreciative because I get to try these things and get to enjoy them without spending the money. So my husband's god parents actually bought these two for me. Um one this one here is an oil. And this one here is the actual perfume. Now, if you know anything about Narcisco perfumes, then you know that they are a bit pricey, right? Okay, and she bought me two. So I was a little taken aback because it's like, this is a lot, you know what I mean? They're retired, you know, again, they've done well for themselves. And what happened was my husband and I always try to get together with them for dinner at least uh, once a month or once every other month. In the winter time, not so much, but in the summer we try to do once a month or once every other month. And we go back and forth, like they'll treat us, we'll treat them, that sort of thing, right? So the the last time that I saw them, my husband's God, it's really his godfather and his wife, but we call them our godparents, right? They're my godparents too, fuck that. So um, she she's a classy, fashionable, woman okay she might be almost she might be in her 70s either her late 60s or 70s but honey is gucci prada chanel or honey okay she is a bloomingdale's neiman marcus she's living her best life all right and she has the money to do it and she enjoys the finer things in life child and sometimes i'd be like good lord like i know i'm making more money than you but i don't I shop at Target. <laughs> but remember my earlier, my other vlog, oh, y'all ain't gonna see it yet, but y'all gonna see it. I just said, let me mind my business. That's what I told everybody to do, and that's what I'm gonna do as well. So anyway, so I basically was like, oh my God, you smell so good. Like, what is that scent? And she was telling me how she layers her Narcisco perfume with her Narcisco oil. And I was like, oh, okay. I was familiar with Narcisco, but I don't I don't have any Narcisco. I didn't have any Narcisco at the time. She literally sent me this in the mail, like within the next week. She sent a text and was like, oh, I got something coming in the mail for you. Look out for it. And I'm like, what? So we was thinking it was for my husband because that's really his godparents. But it was for me. And it was all because I said I liked her scent. And she sent, she gifted me with these luxurious, divine scents. And let me tell you guys, layering, layering the perfume with the oil. Oof. Yeah, the, what was that other perfume I said I like? The Hanamori? No, was it Hanamori? I do like Hanamori too. But Muse by Theory, the, Theory Mugler. That perfume is one of the best perfumes you could buy, invest in, is the is the Muse by, by Theory. But this Narcisco, baby, listen, if you if you love a good scent and you like to leave a little something, something when you walk away, this is this is it, baby. It, especially with the Laren. Now it makes me want to buy the other narcissos because they have so many different scents but like i'm cheap when it comes to that i'm not cheap in general but i'm cheap when it comes to that like perfume shouldn't be 70 80 100 right like i mean i know because my husband tries to break it down to me like his whole logic like you don't understand what goes into it with the flowers and this and that. i'm like yeah 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 like i don't care like that's a lot of money all right, moving on. This is why I can't get through videos. All right, you guys. So I'm going to share with you my bonsai. Yay! This is my beautiful bonsai. I have always, always wanted a bonsai for, 
I, I would say in my early 20s, there was a guy that used to live next door to my grandfather who had every plant you could think of. He was just like the plant whisperer. He had all these plants. And I remember one day he was talking to us about the art of having a bonsai. And I just remember that stuck with me forever. And I always said that I was gonna buy myself a bonsai. Bonsais are expensive, very, very expensive. I don't know if you could get them cheaper. I don't know. I think this was this one and it's bigger now. When I got it, it was actually smaller, but it's grown a little bit. And oh, here, here's the price, $34.99. And just think uh, maybe two inches smaller than this. Like, and it came in this pot. The pot has a, a bottom tray, which I left um, downstairs because that's where it was. I just brought it up to show you guys. I absolutely love it. I've done tons and tons of research. I've been watching tons and tons of videos on how to properly care for your bonsai. I have a whole bonsai kit with my little shears and stuff and I've been trimming it because bonsai means small tree and like a small pot. So I can repot this but I don't have to because it will do fine. It'll just grow in this pot and I'll just have to keep trimming 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 so I have to decide what I want to do but right now it's doing fabulous it's growing I'm trimming it because you want to keep the shape so it's definitely an art <laughs> it's definitely an art and I'm you know I'm not perfect but I'm learning and it just brings me so much joy to see it in the in the window I have another bonsai that might be in my next time favorites because I already got too much stuff. All right, you guys. Next up is my Carol's Daughters Black Vanilla Hydrating Leave-In Conditioner. I have bought this stuff for years and years and years. I be wanting to share stuff with y'all, but I don't be wanting y'all too, too in the business and Googling and all that, so I'm just going to leave it out. But we have a connection to Carol's Daughter, but that's what I'm going to say. I might have mentioned it a long time ago, but I, I'm very careful about the things that I say on the internet. But this stuff smells so, so good i love it it's extra moisturizing it leaves my hair smelling delicious it also adds a nice shine to it and anytime that i need like a little pick me up you know moisture what have you i'll spray it i'll use it to refresh my curls um after i wash my hair i'll spray it and then like brush it out so it has the moisture and the smell i love it you can find it anywhere where they sell hair, pro hair products so we got three more favorites you guys if you don't have castor oil in your life you are missing some serious ish castor oil is used and good for so many 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 things i don't really like there's one that i use that's in a glass bottle but i never can find it and it's like double the price but this is like the second best one it's in plastic but you know i can't have everything can't have everything um but this is like one of the better ones from the heritage store and i use this predominantly in my hair um it works really really good it helps your hair grow it keeps your scalp moisturized this is also good for pulling out toxins um ladies that have like cramps and stuff i don't know if you've ever read that if you use a castor oil pack it will help cleanse all that that's going on it's fantastic okay I, I i don't know how much this was because i buy it so often i don't even think i look at the price but I, if i had to guess i would say over ten dollars but it's get you some castor oil okay and and just do a quick little google search and you'll see the benefits and all the great things that it's good for next you guys is my myers you saw you saw the method Here's the Myers. A lot of these products I discovered when I used to get the box um, from the Grove Collaborative. I used to be a member and I used to get a monthly box and it used to, they used to have the greatest like clean products. Um, at home with Nikki. I don't know if you guys are familiar with her. She does a lot of like home videos and decor, things like that. She recommended the Grove Collaborative and I ended up signing up and I absolutely loved the box but I just stopped getting it because it was just like I didn't really need all that stuff you know I was just getting it to get it it was sort of a waste but I did discover a lot of these brands like Method and Myers. they had like really good cleaning products and this one right here is the basil scent I use this everywhere I keep one in my laundry room I keep one in the bathroom I keep one in the kitchen it's just it's great and it smells really good and I love it. I use bleach. You know, bleach ain't natural, but you need bleach. I'm sorry. 
I, I, I can't do everything natural. <laughs> Gotta use a little bleach. But I use this like for everyday, um, you know, wipe downs or whatever. But what I need to disinfect, which is usually every day, especially in the kitchens and stuff, I'll, I'll use a combination of bleach and um, this is just like to tidy up, but it's, it's fantastic. All right, you guys have heard me talk about um, jade rollers or whatever and how fantastic they are for your skin. I mean authentic jade rollers. Now, there's a lot of copycats out here. There's a lot of fake um, roller balls. Now, I can't tell you if those work as good as um, the real ones. I don't really know, but I have an authentic jade roller, okay? So this is what mine looks like. I've had this for, I wanna say three years now three four years maybe so every night just about every night I do forget some nights um I will wash my face tone my face on the weekends I do a mask um and I do a night cream I put the night cream on and this is what I use I have not kept it in the freezer I think my cousin made a comment on one of my videos like she also uses these because you know we exchange information we got to teach each other um I haven't used this in the, the freezer because it's supposed to help with like inflammation and stuff but um it's usually cold anyway like it's not it has because it's like a stone it's usually cold when you it's cold right now and it's been in this box in this hot ass house but um you know I do all my face I try to get like right here where like I have naturally natural smile lines but I don't want them to develop you know more as you get older they will but if you can prevent them from getting like deep then great and then the smaller ball I use under my eye like this you know to prevent like um, wrinkles and darkness and this just keeps like your blood circulating i have another one of these a green one i think my husband took it he don't need it you guys like i swear to goodness this guy is like aging backwards but he uses he uses the green one and i just don't know where it is but these are so so good um invest in one and like i said i don't know if the ones that are not genuine jade are just as good they probably are you know because if if it's just a ball that's um rolling on your face i mean i'm sure you're getting some sort of benefit from it because it is because it is still circulating like your your blood and all that sort of thing in your face so don't listen to me i mean listen to me i know some things but um i don't know like i can't offer whether or not the fake ones and the real what if there's any real benefit what i will tell you is that real crystals and real stones have healing properties that like the glass or the fake ones don't so that i do know you know what i mean so if you're basing it off of that then these will give you more benefits but the other ones may be beneficial as well and mine also comes with this and what this is is a scraper so you can do like this like when you use a mask or whatever it's just a stone it's nice and cold on your face and it's very good about getting in the crevices. And you guys, I, I swear to you, I've had this set for, um, and I don't even know if this is real copper. Oh, well you see, I didn't even realize that the middle was also stole. Um, This cost me a pretty penny, but it was worth it. And um, this has never turned. Like this, I've, and I have, I always have oil on my hand, some sort of, product or whatever and this has never turned and this is fantastic i i just i don't know what else to say like it's just it's just fantastic <laughs> uh yeah so that's definitely a favorite that i wanted to share with you guys and i know that i recently um spoke about it so um get you one even if it's not the real ones because they're expensive but um Get you a jade a jade roller or a jade comparable roller and start now start now you know i'm still in my 30s but i've started taking care of my my skin a long long time ago like i want to say mid 20s like i was on it with the anti-aging i was moisturizing i was making sure that i was cleansing and purging and massaging doing everything i can to stay youthful you know what i mean like 
who doesn't want that all right guys so that was my favorite i know it's ridiculous i'm already what 20 minutes 30 minutes and let's move quickly through the hated it all right this is my box of hated it i'm gonna move as fast as i can here is my vera wang princess perfume noir now why i'm saying this is a hated it is because when you initially spray this perfume on it smells so great so delightful now i bought this perfume but i only paid like 30 maybe 40 dollars this is what it looks like the bottle looks like oh and it's so girly but grown-up girly you know some of those scents like i can't do anymore like those bath and body scents fruity scents like i feel like a 12 year old like i need a grown-up woman scent not all of them i still do like like japanese cherry but a few of them i still like love spell i will always love because love spell is just that type of scent that no matter how old whatever but a lot of those other scents i've grown out of i can't do it anymore i know i need a grown woman scent hated it because vera wang okay i don't care that i paid 30 40 dollars for it. i don't care if it was two dollars when you spray this on it should last at least a few hours you spray this on and literally i feel like within 20 minutes you don't you don't smell it anymore like come on now hated it that's a hated it also you guys i'm gonna show you both of these at the same time these phone cases that i purchased from i think amazon now i have the iphone xr um here is these phone can you see can you see can you see the cracks can, can you see, i don't know if you can see the cracks what i would tell you guys is both of these cases are glass the back is glass when i initially saw these cases i was like oh my god they're so beautiful i love anything like shiny and glossy and you know girly whatever so I got the red because I thought, wow, that's so cute. I'll always be able to find this in my bag. And then I got the blue because I love this blue. If you've been watching for a while, you know cobalt blue is actually one of my favorites. But, um, honey, these things cracked so fast. Like, within a matter of a week, the red one I had first, and it cracked. And I was saving the blue one. And then I even put this little thing on here my wholesaler gave me this for free actually this little thing and i just put it on my phone he gave me a lot of free shit like i got a whole box of stuff this for, that i got for free that's neither here nor there we talk about that in a blog but hated it hated it i think these were like 12 or 13 dollars like come on now to to not really i mean i know it's glass but it, it shouldn't crack that easy all right you guys you recently saw this in a haul okay this spray I just showed y'all, and I told y'all that I had bought something from this company, Mod, M-O-D, that's the name of the, the company, and it was pretty good. So I was like, oh, how bad could this be? Now, I wrote the clip here. I ain't gonna stop talking. Y'all just look at the clip. clip. I sprayed maybe two sprays of this, and I was damn near dying, right? I should have known. I should have known from that point that this was heavy in chemicals, heavy in chemicals. Now, there's no ingredient list on this, right? So I couldn't really tell what was in it it basically says fragrance spray eucalyptus cotton now i usually make my own like lavender sprays and stuff like that but i still like to try stuff because why not right and this is so chemical chemically it, it's too every time i spray this i'm coughing my head is hurting and this is full to the brim and i pay five dollars for this what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna bring it to my office and put it in one of the bathrooms and you know let people should i do that like <laughs> let them kill each other with the chemicals i don't know i feel what am i gonna do with this like it's i don't want it and it's a waste if i don't do something with it but it's too strong for me you guys and i could be sensitive to that sort of stuff but every time i spray it i'm gagging gagging <laughs> all right you guys um this i have shown before in some videos like in the past from the simple brand now i used to think that this was so good at moisturizing because it's no harsh chemicals it's mostly natural this stuff had my face white okay and i don't think i've ever noticed like i said because i don't wear like a ton of makeup and I don't know but i've used this and it needs to go in the garbage it's gonna go in the garbage after this but this thing once it dry my i have like a like a ashy face like what's going on like this is all natural and all of that like i should not it's gel moisturizer i should not have an ashy ghost face simple 
hated it. Then they landed in the garbage, but we'll get to it. Next, you guys, is uh, Out the Deck, America's number one super fast drying top coat for nails. Okay. So this, I purchased from Harman's. Harman's is a beauty supply store here. I don't know if it's everywhere, but they have a lot of good beauty supplies, right? Beauty supplies, yes. Um, this was like $10. And people were raving about this, like how great it was, and it um the top coat makes your nails shine, makes your nails strong, blah blah blah. That's a lie. That's a damn lie. This this is crap, okay? For ten dollars, it's sticky. Like my the top of my nails should not be sticky. It takes forever. This says fast, super America's number one fast, super fast drying. Lies. The lies that they tell, okay? this is crap i don't i haven't even used ha done crap hated it hated it next you guys is the essie polish now i think i shared this on instagram at some point and this is called shake your money maker now in the summertime i love color you know in the winter time too really i i can't even say that i don't but i got this from macy's because they had it like by the counter and I was like, ooh, an Essie polish for $3.99. But there was a reason it's $3.99. There's a reason why things are the price that they are, okay? This is crap. <laughs> I don't know if they put water in here. I don't know what, but it literally to get this color, this nice green color, you got to do like six or seven coats. Six or seven coats? Like, what? Hated it. Hated it. Don't do it. Don't do it to yourself. Don't buy, don't buy nail polish from Macy's. Next, you guys, you, you've seen this recently. Well, I think you have. Or you might not have because my vlogs are so behind. Anyway, this is called the Rose and Cedar Crackling Wood Wick Candle. Now, it smells really good. I will not take away from the scent. It does fill up a room. You know, it'll fill up a room like it fills up this office here. But these little sticky sticks in here, these little wood sticks, they're supposed to be crackling. They don't stay lit, okay? I literally have to relight this candle four, five, six times um, to keep the damn, to keep the wick burning. So it is a great candle overall. I, I like the look of it. I like the smell. This is from Target. I might have paid $12 for this candle. But the candle needs to stay lit. So y'all need to figure out, you know, with this crackling wood, whatever it is, how to keep it lit and I will be happy. But for this month, this is a hated it, okay? Hated it. How, how can I use my candle if it doesn't stay lit? Last, you guys, in the hated it pile is this here. I saw this on some somewhere. Don't ask me where. I saw it somewhere. And I was like, oh, that'll be so cool. It's a magnifying glass that you can put your phone behind and it's supposed to magnify your phone. So I was like, oh, when I'm in my office at lunchtime and I want to watch a little YouTube or whatever, it's a great way to magnify my screen and I can just, you know, enjoy and it folds flat, blah, blah, blah. Hated it. it. It really is not a big difference. I mean, it magnifies your phone a little bit, but not enough for you to, for it to be worth it. I mean, I might have paid $10 for this, but it's trash. It's trash. They got me. I, I mean, all right, you guys, if you made it this far, congratulations. Thank you so much for watching. One of my favorites. I hated it. I'm very long-winded, but I'm very thorough. And I want you to know every detail about everything that I talk about. So, here's to the giveaway. Here is the giveaway. Including this gorgeous bag. I have a bunch of these. And when I do my little parties for my company, I usually do swag bags in this iridescent clear bag. So all of this stuff in here is for somebody. And that person is, but before I announce that person, what I will say is what I like to do is I like to give back to the people who support me. Your girl is a bit much, I know. I'm inconsistent, I got strong opinions, I have a very strong personality, all of that. For anybody who could tolerate all of that and still enjoy the kid, I appreciate you and I have one person well I have several people but this person stands out this these last few months since I've been back and she even when I was not on YouTube 
reached out to me made sure your girl was good always checked up on me sending me messages you know just letting me know yo i'm here still thinking about you and she always leaves me comments and i so appreciate that and i'm the type of person i never forget i never forget a person i never forget a name i do forget names but i don't forget i don't forget faces i don't forget actions i don't forget what people do i always remember always remember i don't forget a thing so here is the winner i mean yeah well the winner of my favorites here's a giveaway to that person yay, yay! keisha thank you so much girl you have been such a big big supporter of mine from 2011 you've been rocking with your girl you always 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 are here in the comments on instagram everywhere and i so appreciate that so this all this stuff in here is for you i'm gonna go through this bag really quickly show y'all what she got sorry keisha they don't know what you got but basically what's in this bag is some of the things that i have showed you that are my favorites that i am now giving away if you've been a long time to be like i said this is what i used to do in the past because i'm sharing what i think is awesome with you and here we go so some of these things i didn't show but they're great items keisha you're gonna get this and what this is is a standard satin pillowcase and as i told you guys i needed to be more um on top of taking care of my hair and i have a satin pillowcase so i just wanted to share one with you too make sure you're taking care of your hair wrapping it up satin pillowcases so your hair's not being pulled out like mine that's a white one enjoy also picked up some of these toothbrushes for you isn't this pretty this mint color Ugh. i'm running through i'm running through this also got you the the raw sugar hand sanitizer you're gonna love this girl you're gonna love this um also got you the italian um facial mist you're gonna love that you're gonna love that that's real good this soap right here oh god Whew. i'm surprised i still got memory y'all this soap right here long time tubies y'all know i'm addicted to all type of soap but this is the rosewater and jasmine shea butter soap what i do with these big big bars is i cut them into fours so they last a lot longer but keisha girl you're gonna love this it smells so damn good it's gonna smell up your whole bag i also got you a scrub mommy so they had the scrub daddy and then they had the scrub mommy so i was like oh i gotta get this for my my girl so basically it's just a female version of the scrub daddy but this is great for your dishes or whatever you want to use it for also picked you up a uh, real sika vitalizing sika mist and watermelon i ain't gonna go into what sika sika mist is you're gonna have to do your research but this is good this is a good product as well i also got you um now i hope you got an iphone because this is what this is it's a usb to lightning cable for iphone ipad and ipod it's three feet and it's pink and rose gold if you don't have an iphone um maybe you could gift it to somebody this shit was ten dollars um i actually bought one for myself but mine is six feet but i really really love these because you know a lot of times these uh products that are not made by apple give you a hard time but this brand here gaba goods they're really good their products are really good and they work and they're not going to give you any issues so i picked you up one too um also i picked you up yes girl you getting look you got your scrub mommy you got your dish liquid your method dish liquid and lemongrass all right you gonna want you gonna want to do the dish <laughs> I also got you, and you might have seen this in one of my recent hauls, the Steve Madden fanny pack. A girl, I went and got you one. Mm, I sure did. I love these things because you got a little pocket here, you got a little pocket here, adjustable. All the stuff still has price tag on it. I'm gonna, that's a little ghetto. I'm gonna take the price tag off, but got you this. And then, you know, I love my Lucite and acrylic pieces. So I picked you up some too. Um, got your little organizer here. You can store whatever, you know, your makeup, your beauty, what, whatever. And I got you a drawer. Because I love, I love me a little stackable, child. Y'all already know I got a bunch of stackables. And the drawer pulls out whatever you choose to store in here could be electronics could be beauty whatever that's your choice do a book taraji p henson girl um 
what i'm gonna do actually and that's it so i hope you enjoy all those items keisha remember to um i'll leave my email in the description email me your um your mailing address with your full name so i can pack this stuff up and get it to you as soon as possible what i'm going to start doing is part of my website is going to be also featuring um y'all know i do subscriptions i have a bunch of subscription boxes but i think i'm going to start doing magazine and books because i have so many when i used to be a mentor people used to give me boxes upon boxes upon boxes of magazines and books because information never goes out of style now some of these books are obviously pre-read they may not be brand new but they're all in great condition same thing with the magazines like i have so many like home decor magazines so many lifestyle magazine fashion magazines and the information the styles i still go through magazines and get like inspiration for things do vision boards all that sort of thing i'm gonna offer that i think on my website because for something dirt cheap i mean i have to charge something because i'm using packaging i'm shipping my time all that sort of thing but um i have too much i have too much and i usually give away a lot of stuff and most of you know if you know me i give away a lot of stuff a, a ton of stuff and um but i think that's going to be one of the things that i do because i have so much of it i'm going to offer like um, a monthly magazine book uh club and you you gonna get a variety of stuff and i think it's great because who doesn't want information? Who doesn't want inspiration? Who doesn't want... You don't have to pay $5.99 for magazines, $6.99. Books are like $20, $30. Whatever I charge is going to be reasonable because I'm not never trying to get over on nobody. Y'all already know how I feel about that. But that's it. I'm talking too much. Thank you so much for watching. Keisha, make sure you send me your information. I will see y'all in the next video.